Hello everybody, welcome to Idle Game Chat. This is Dimp Digital's weekly video games podcast. You've got myself, Apps here, running the operations as usual. And I'm joined by Tom Adkins, not Adcock. How you doing, mate? I'm top of the world again. Top of the world again, always <laughs> happy. I am, as we discussed earlier, I've been drinking too much again. So two weeks running, I've had to come on here and be hung over. I feel okay at the moment, but I deteriorate. So it could be that halfway through, I'll just flag off and you'll have to finish it yourself. <laughs> go, Pick go, up the pieces. Yeah, go for all the news. It's been a busy week in the world of video games. We've had the Game Awards 2016, uh, PlayStation Experience, which both served up some mouth-watering reveals and announcements. Um, but there is a slight bit of news on our front in terms of what we've been up to and buying. Both of us idiots... I've gone out and bought a PS4 Pro. Whoa, costly. So I don't know why we've done that. <laughs> no. Honestly. Well, more on your part, I'll have to buy the, a new rig. <laughs> yeah, that is foolish. <laughs> it, all, it, all it was, was that it was 280 quid. And I thought, well, that's you know a decent a 70 quid discount, essentially, yeah. with the deal that we got it on. So it, uh, it for me, it wasn't like a, I was not looking actively to get one it just popped up and i thought well mm. let's just let's just take a gamble and it and yeah i need to the rig now has got some competition although if you look at it power to power it's going to shit on it but yeah um we'll see we'll have to it's very early days yours is actually just arriving today mine i've just had okay. a couple of days installing stuff and uh, one thing i will say on first arrival it's annoyed me slightly is they've gone back to using buttons to open the disc tray oh, or, or yeah, to eject well, it. Mind you, I prefer... I can't fucking stand all that touch shit. <laughs> <Can you not? laughs> I keep brushing up against it. I'm a clumsy <laughs> oaf. I, I brush up against it. It switches on. Yeah. Pisses me right off, that does. As, as long as the buttons don't break, I guess. No, that's true, yeah. It feels, they feel a bit cheap. And I was like, well, come on, Sony. But what would you expect? But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. And I'll try and get time to plug it into the 4k telly but a new That's the thing and it? Yeah. it was getting them telling you thinking right we need some sort of some sort of details that's going to show what this tv can do yeah. Bosh! so i need to i need to probably buy an, another display unit anyway for the i mean the, the rig's hooked up to like a night this is a small 19 inch hd claims it's full hd but it struggles to output that sometimes so um i was going to get a new monitor or, t- or tv depending on what i could find and uh, then probably plug them all into one display unit and just switch between them. Have it have it that way. But we'll see how that goes. Um, let's kick off with... Let's do it backwards. Let's kick off with PS, PSX. PSX. And go through some of the things that we saw during Sony's press conference. Uh, the, real, the, the reveal that made the biggest splash is undoubtedly The Last of Us Part 2. Finally being revealed to the world and it looks like it's going to carry on the story of ellie and joel mm. so what are your what are your thoughts on this reveal we kind of we knew it was in development yeah like, we, there was rumors wouldn't there? there i think someone said about a 2020 release mm. there was something in the pipeline i thought oh, that's yeah. a long way but yeah i'm just glad that it is official because there were rumors that they were just going to keep it as that standalone yeah. just one game that's it and i thought oh i'd love to i want to know what happens at yeah. the end um so yeah, no, I was an instant boner as soon as that came. <laughs> <laughs> instant game of boner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking awesome. Um, yeah, I've been looking into details. I've, they've confirmed now, haven't they, that um, you you're going to be playing as Eddie. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, I think from the. I mean, I, I've I've had I haven't had chance to look into the details, but my, that, that was my assumption from it. That the fact that yeah. she was it was more focused around her, whereas Joel just can't. You didn't even see him really. You saw the back of his head. No, uh, no. There's a few little rumours that are quite quite fun. Um, I don't yeah. know if you've heard them yet. That um, yeah. there's a rumour that they reckon that Joel might be dead. Oh, you don't really see him. Yeah, there was. To be honest, that crossed my mind. Funny. Oh, really? When I, was, when I was watching it, I was thinking, I wonder if they'll. Uh, that's why she's. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why she's going for wife... revenge. It seems yeah, to be based around it. some sort of revenge story. And to be honest, my assumption would be that he gets put down at some point, and yeah, you know, maybe that's what kicks it off. But yeah, that'd be a an interesting way to go for sure. 
Yeah, um, definitely. But yeah, it's supposed to be set five years after the first game. Yeah, she's a little bit more uh, grown up, isn't she? That's it, yeah. Looks like she's become an absolute badass, which yeah. she was in the first game, but even more so now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. It's, it was a nice little tech demo. Um, yeah. Just showing the new engine off and whatever. Obviously, they said it's real, real early days. Yeah, I don't reckon it won't be till about not probably 2018, maybe even 19. Yeah, I think it's a, a two, two to three years away for that ever being released. But it's there. People are obviously excited about it. Yeah. Um, what about this continuation of Joel and Ellie's story? Because I have some, I, I you know, people. It's, it's quite a polarizing opinion depending on what side of the fence you're But some people wanted that to continue, whereas I was quite up for them just leaving it there as it was um, and, and walking away and, and using some new new characters. But mm. where, where do you sit on this side of it? Or do you, um, or do you want to see them back? Yeah, I, want, I, th- I think we invested quite a lot in the first game into the characters. That's why it made it so well, because c- you connect to those characters. Yeah. So I think... With new, although new characters um, would be nice, I think that I, I do want to continue their journey just because they're such brilliant characters. Yeah. Um, it'd be hard to get that attached to some new ones. I don't know if you'll get that connection. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit, yeah. I suppose some, that is a risk, is. isn't it? Yeah, but um, but no, I'm sure you will. Yeah. There will be new characters involved in the, the continuation. Yeah, I, I, I imagine they'll bring in. It looks like it's going to be some sort of revenge tale. Um, and to be honest, the way they've, the way they've labelled it, the Last of Us Part Two, mm. leads me towards maybe there will be this is some sort of trilogy. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Part Two and Part Three, but that's, you know, it's conventional wisdom being applied there, which doesn't apply to video games. So, no. Um, yeah, good stuff. That was, a, that was a, oh. that's how they close the show. Yeah. Um, and uh, we won't see anything like I don't think we'll even see anything at E3. Next nah, year, maybe. Nah, I think that... it'll be a little while. That'll be it, on it for a while. They do. Yeah. They tend to do these big announcements just to make get the hype flowing. And then so walk away from it, about, and then just go right. You just deal with that for a fucking year. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. So that's Naughty Dog. That's what they've got in the pipeline. They also Naughty Dog were very busy because they kicked off PSX um, with Uncharted: The Lost Legacy, and oh. whilst I was watching the reveal. I had no idea this is an Uncharted game. No. Well, <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this? The rumours were going, like, there was rumours they were going to bring out this DLC. and yeah. that. But, so, but I didn't even cross my mind. I thought it was Tomb Raider. I thought, I was like, <laughs> hell, let's yeah. quit. Bring out the new Tomb Raider already. Yeah. Um, I, was, but I was racking, I didn't for one second think it would be about that Chloe. No. I know quite a well-received character, but... I'd forgotten thought, about it, to be honest. Was, was she yeah. was appearing on Uncharted 3? Yeah, um, 3 she was in. Right, yes. Not much, though, but... No, I didn't. Um, I was like, "Who?" And I had to like look back, and I was like, "Oh, right, her." And I was like, "Okay, where's Maybe. Cutter?" <laughs> That's it. Yeah, <laughs> he's, in, he's, he's in the multiplayer for Uncharted Four. What him? <laughs> oh, yeah, he was. He's yeah, strange, but um, no, it did, it did look really good, didn't it? Yeah. I've uh, just been watching the uh, panel. Actually, they did like a panel after the main uh, oh, yeah. show. And they're yeah. just talking a bit more about it. Yeah. Um, it's set after the events of Uncharted Four. Yeah. So uh, and it's the. Uh, they said it's a standalone game, yeah. but obviously it's it's bigger than Left Behind, Last yep. of Left Behind, but smaller than Uncharted Four. Well, Left Behind, from my memory, was like three hours long. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe it was longer than that. But then Uncharted took me nearly fifteen, so I was like, "Well, you've left a lot of margin there." <laughs> yeah, that's very <laughs> to, true. To fall and into it, that gap, and it's going to be set in India. The yep. whole thing. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, it'd be interesting that Nadine as well. That was a well-received character from Four. Yeah, yeah. So Nadine was, in my opinion, I thought she was quite an interesting character. But she was a little bit weak source in Uncharted Four. You didn't really see much of her, and it never, she never got closed out. And I was like, well, they've left that sort of unfinished. She kind of just walks away, doesn't she? And you don't, you don't see her. And I was like, well, there's no <laughs> resolution with her there. But it looks like they're doing the double turn, getting her to come over to the good guys, hopefully. And uh, she'll be, looks like they're going to be partnering up with with Chloe. Mm. Um, during this new adventure, so you mentioned, yeah, it's like a stand. It's like what they say, it's a standalone, so you can buy it on its own. Um, but if you've bought or if you buy the Explorer pack, which I think oh. retails at nineteen pounds ninety nine, so twenty UK pounds, UK that'll in, that'll include some multiplayer goodies uh, and obviously the the this, the DLC as it will come in that in that vein so it's a bit of a weird one that you can 
get mm-hmm. it via that, which is own, another thing. It's only on sale until the 13th of December, and then they're pulling that Explorer pack down. Really? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if they want people to go out and buy the standalone. Um, mm. And so what are you more, having having heard that? Because it didn't explain it. This yeah. is all stuff I've had to look up, and I was scrambling I was this say, morning. I've not even heard of this before. No. Yeah, I was scrambling because it, it was all going. It said standalone DLC, and I was like, well, "Hang on, what, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you actually mean?" Because yeah. There's people that have bought that season pass that were wanting a you know a, a single player expansion. So, are you likely to use to buy the season pass, which is on sale for another week or so, uh, or wait till it comes out? disc obviously it'll come out at the same time and, and pick it up separately because um, it could be yeah, it could, could bring it out and go 35 UK pounds yeah was, that's uh, very true yeah I didn't think of that cool but the other the other thing so it's just like online um, bits bits and pieces you get with yeah I think it's basically the credits that you can use to buy uh, skins yeah. and stuff so it started out and it's called I think it's called this triple threat pack oh, and right. it'll give you it gave you two bundles in the, in the multiplayer they then changed it and just gave you a shitload of points which i think are worth they've equated it to like 15 pounds worth of content and then plus the, the dlc when that arrives yeah so i'm tempted just to commit to the explorer pack not that i'll use any of the multiplayer stuff but i can't I, I'm, I'm struggling to believe and think they're going to retail it for less than 20 quid yeah when it comes on its own I gonna say if it's it sounds like it's quite a big and doesn't it yeah um and with the success of, what was it, Blood and Wine, Witcher, that's yeah. quite a very big DLC, yeah. isn't it? I wonder if they're going to try and, uh, you know, compete with that. Yeah, but, that was, um, I mean, Blood and Wine was 20 quid. Was it? Was that how much? Um, that's right. Okay. But that was the season pass. So the expansion oh, okay. pass, and that included both. So that's Blood and Wine. Mm. Um, and the first one, which name escapes me. Um, uh, Heart. What's... Hearts of Stone, yeah. So that was, yeah, so that was really a good, good deal because blood and wine right. was ginormous it's like a game mm. in itself and hearts of stone was uh, of stone was was good as well so i don't think i just can't see him no nah. it coming out on disc for less than 20 no nah, that's alarming now so i think i might follow you with that one <laughs> we'll get explored, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah but then you know what happened when the disc comes out i know what you're like you'll be like oh the disc yeah <laughs> <laughs> i want the case now. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we have to look into that, but yeah, it looks like it's a, a a new direction. They're saying that the the environments are more, some of them are more open and larger than Uncharted Four. So it looks yeah. like they're continuing with that um, kind of gameplay mechanic of keeping the world open in the areas that you fight. So there's a little bit more dyna- dynamic kind of things that you can do within the world. Um, but are you excited to see is Uncharted: The Lost Legacy um, standalone yeah. or purchasable? via the, the season pass for another couple of weeks. Is so, this is this something that was going to excite you more yeah. than The Last of Us 2, though? No, not, as, not <laughs> no. As, no, not a chance. I won't touch it. <laughs> no, I've, I've got to say, it did look good, but really good. Um, yeah, I will. I will pick it up as, as my child fan, but I did, it didn't give me that absolute boner that I got from, uh, <laughs> from The Last of Us. So there Even you go. that song in that uh, trailer, The Last of Us. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Playing the old guitar. Number. Someone said, is it a guitar heroes? <laughs> Simulator. <laughs> Simulator. <laughs> Ellie. Be, cool. be, a, be a mini game in there. Yeah. Like Parappa the Rapper, which is also oh. announced as a remaster. Is coming. Hey, demo. Demo out now. Demo out now, yeah. Um, Absolute fucking toilet at it. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 I'm, I, was, I had... I had I think that's one of the first demo discs I had oh. for PlayStation, the original PlayStation. It had a lot of other games on it. One of them was Parappa the Rapper. Did it Frogger on it? Uh, no, it didn't have Frogger. Oh, did not. <laughs> I remember having one as a kid that had Frogger on it. <laughs> that brand new PlayStation, the first, like 3D graphics, and they just stick Frogger on it. Go, <laughs> wow, what's going on here? Absolute bastards. But yeah, I was rubbish at Parappa the Rapper. Yeah, <laughs> it really yeah, was bad at it. It was dreadful. Yeah, I think I think I think I compl- it's one level on it. I think I completed that one level once or twice. Yeah. I must have played it at least sixty times. I used to play those demo discs like they were going out of business. Mm. I was always on them. It was always like five or six games on it. I'd be like, yes, fucking quit. I, I played the demo last night, and um, it like after playing things like Guitar Hero, where the sort of UI is much more easier to come. It's the, the UI on this is so weird, like how, how quick it goes across the screen. I was like, what the fuck? What, what, what's going oh, on? So you, you've played the demo then, have you? Yeah, I played the demo last night. Yeah, oh, right. re- released last night. It's only literally one level. Yeah. Um, just showing off the game and that. But yeah, the, 
like how it just moved so quick. I was like, yeah. Fuck, I don't remember this. Fuck. No. What um what uh level is it? Do you know? Is it, is it the Onion Man? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, so it's, that's the same demo they had for the demo disc. Oh really? Yeah. Like, it looks like he's in like some sort of not like, studio, but like dojo like a, sort of thing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah that's definitely it. That's the one. Yeah. I might just download that just for some yeah it's, to it's get not some even childhood like... vibes back because that's it. I remember it all. Yeah, it's got a couple of little songs, and it, it it's weird because like the cutscenes don't look like they've been up res or anything. It's like the original cutscene. Oh, really? They've just put like a a new border around it, and then like when the actual game kicks in, then that's the sort of up res. Does it look bit. any good? It, it looks all right. Yeah, it looks pretty. Good. It's just just exactly. It's just an up res version of what it was. But yeah. I'd say that UI fucking threw me. Just I was like, what the fuck? About <laughs> even like it comes across the top of the screen. Right. So you're looking at Papa and Rapid. You think, oh fuck, oh I'm actually playing. Whoa. Yeah. That's Jesus weird. Jesus Christ. Well, yeah. there you go. That's there for people. That'll be coming, I assume, next year. Um, one of your more favourite ones, one of your big ones that you want, wanted to definitely make sure we mentioned was Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Mm. So I am an absolute child when it comes to fighting games. I've got no knowledge of them. <laughs> I've played them. I'm not very good at them. I don't really know my onions when it comes to that. But this seems, and I'll let you obviously decide whether this is correct, but this seems like a big deal and got a lot of people in the fighting game community excited. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite a big deal. I mean, Marvel Capcom has, has been huge, like especially even the old esports as well. Yeah. Um, it's like the big fighting competition. But the last one, yeah, that free, um, the Marvel vs. Capcom free, that was a console exclusive. Right. Or PC Master Race didn't get a sniff at all. What did it so uh, come out on Xbox and PlayStation? Yeah, Xbox and not... PlayStation, that was it. No oh. one got a sniff, whereas all the other games have always been on on uh well actually take away uh, Soul Calibur, you never really got any of them. No. But uh, Dreamcast, weren't they? Old but Soul yeah, Calibers. Absolute disaster. But yeah, it's quite a big deal. It was rumoured before uh, yeah. PSX, just that uh, people were saying, Oh, it could be coming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it does look fantastic. Um, which they, and then they also announced a PC no, was it PC? No, a, a PS4 sorry version yeah. of number three. So a yeah. next gen now, first official next gen Marvel versus Capcom game. So that just a, I take it that's a remaster of yeah, it's just a remaster of number three, which was a great game. People yeah. are still playing it now, like in these uh, fighting competitions and that. Twenty UK pounds for that. UK pounds on the store. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's gone on to. Um, PC or not? Again, it might just be a console yeah. exclusive. But the new uh, one, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Yeah. They look. It looks like they're trying to tie in, trying to get the, the numbers up. They're trying to turn it, tie it in with the uh, universe, uh, Marvel Universe. You know, like they've got yeah. this Thanos thing going on with the Infinite Stones. They're bringing out the films and all that. Yeah. So it looks like they're trying to tie this game into that to try and win over a few fans. Get them, and get them on board. So, what is what's is there anything that separates kind of Marvel v Capcom from the other fighters out there? Because is it uh, just because it's including like Marvel characters and obviously Capcom do a lot of fighting games, Street Fighter for example. That's got it's going to have people from there sure. on it too. Of course, um, it's it's quite unique. In the main traditional game, isn't just a one v one. It's normally yeah. like a three versus three, so you have three different characters. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and it is just absolute carnage. Like you can link moves to, together, like between the different characters, and there's all like all massive big explosions going on through the screen, the projectiles and things like that. So it's yeah. more a, a lot, a lot of carnage. But like I say, that's the main the, the difference between the other fighting games is it's traditionally a free versus free. Yeah. Um, which you don't normally get in a yeah, Tekken tag, but that was two v two. This is that was, yeah. a triple threat tag match. <laughs> Excellent. So that's that's that announced. It didn't say whether it was going to be what platform. Uh, it's next to, year. That, it, next year. It, yeah, it did. It said PlayStation, Xbox right. uh, One, and Steam. So it's coming to PC. It's this coming time. to the Master Race. They're getting it. They're getting it. <laughs> so those boys will be happy with that one. Yeah. Um, whilst we're on the fighting subject, Street Fighter Five has a tiny little spot where they revealed a new character, Akuma. Yep, it looks uh, like they're following in sort of the uh, Killer Instinct uh, tradition, right. where they're having like sort of seasons of characters. They've released their season one characters, mm. and now this is the start of season two. So yeah. Akuma, who is has gone over to Tekken, he's quite a big character in the new Tekken Seven, which will be released next year. Yep. 
but they've got him back and he's now back looking like a lion <laughs> I saw that yeah he's got fucking weird. floppy old hair isn't he yeah he's got a oh, fucking Jesus. mane what have they done yeah. with him there so um I mean you've got Street Fighter 5 haven't you yes it's, yeah. uh, that had a really I put it down as one of my fantasy picks yep and uh, it had a bit of a not a great reception because it's nah. lacking content. Is it for you personally? Yeah. Is it, de- is it dead? Because it's just you know it's too like too little, too late. I mean the story mm. mode has gone in, isn't it? And that's all yeah. there for people. Or you know, is there any temptation to even go back? Or is it like no, this this wait for Marvel v Capcom or or for Tekken to to arrive and we'll we'll be going on that. I wouldn't say it's dead, but it certainly hasn't kept me wanting to come back. It's it feels a bit like you know, like how you buy how you bought uh, Hitman, where you're getting sort of dribs and drabs. Yeah, it feels a bit like that, but not being told that's how it was going to come. <laughs> no, <laughs> so didn't, didn't disclose that. <laughs> no, that's right. So it came out, and it was it was fucking lacking everything. It didn't have nothing really. Just play online. You could do a tutorial. Mm. Some piss poor campaign thing that was just like two fights that even there's a video on youtube of a baby completing it <laughs> I'm not, I, I kid you not there's literally a baby mashing button and he completes it within like 10 minutes oh my <laughs> it's God. Mental. but yeah they've so they started to release bits um they started to they were uh, updated a uh, a proper campaign which was pretty good actually i must admit it was about three hours long did you like play that. through that, did you? Yeah, I played through that as soon as that re- was released. Mm. Um, they still have them, which I'm waiting for. It's just like a sort of one, uh, a sort of exhibition game where you can right. play against the computer. You still can't do that, which oh, is... Oh, really? A, well, it's an arcade yeah. mode, wasn't it? You arcade mode, day, that's yeah. it, yeah. So they still don't have that, which Fucking is a, a joke, really. Yeah. Honestly. But, um, but yeah, they seem to be patching all these little bits in bit by bit. So... Mm. It should have been sold to us as an early access game. Yeah. But, you know, Capcom, they're like, nah, fuck it. We'll, nah, we won't we'll care. It out there. We'll get a bar but, the name alone. So, like I say, it's not dead. Um, and the one thing I do like as well is that you can buy the season pass if you want to and get mm. all this for free. But you, like everything they release, you can actually, you can buy it. in you the game. earn it. But it's, you can earn it by playing the game. So, I quite yeah. like that. So, this new character, Kuma coming out. Yeah. Not, but, you know, returning yeah. character. Rather than me, I think, oh, fucking hell, it's another sort of five quid I've got to pay for him. Yeah. Uh, you can actually like, fight and earn him, so it's pretty cool. But it does make you want to go back, but yeah, I've not had the uh, Capcom, Capcom leering. No. Marvel, no. Capcom. We'll see how that uh, pans out. I mean, it seems like it's getting quite, next year is going to be quite a lot of competition in the fighting space. Yeah. yeah. Um, comparing, just quickly, actually, you mentioned the story on all the campaign that they added. Yep. On a uh, street foot. You said it about three hours long. How have you played through Mortal Kombat? I have, yeah. Kind of, that was it... a slightly longer, I think. Right. Yeah, I've I, I only done that the other week, actually. Yeah. I finally finished that off. <laughs> quite a lot coming, didn't we? Because that, that's, that's just been sort of re, revamped on the PC version. They sort of pulled it, didn't they? Right, yeah, it, was it wasn't. Hurt, and then they released a, um, a second batch of characters and left it for the console only, so everyone was a bit up in arms. But they oh, seem yeah. to have fixed that now, and it seems to be running all right on there. Oh. Um, but let me just have it. I think it was. It did. Yeah, it's about. It was a bit longer. So it was about sort of five, maybe yeah, about five hours long. Yeah, I think it was. But that was pretty decent. That was that was cool. Yeah, it's a big and they've got the uh, Un- Injustice Two coming out next year. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tech of course. Seven. Um. Yeah, oh, infinite. Yeah, oh yeah, infinite. <laughs> three, of the, three of the bastards. Yeah, so that's due next yeah, year. He will be rampant with the old beat 'em ups. Yeah, Evo. Yeah, that's the big. They'll be getting, They'll have all sorts there to Sniffing. to play off. Um, what else do we have? So go to PSX. So we had Resident Evil Seven had another trailer. And yeah. And the new, the last final build of the demo has been released. So. I've not played it since the first, the very first demo, and I understand it's changed quite a bit. Yeah. Lots of lots of media been out this last week as well for Resident Evil Seven. Like people have had hands on and doing like nine minute videos of gameplay um, for that, and it's not far away, is it? It's January. No, no so, not far at all. You can actually do. Uh, I'd be interested if Biff has a go. They've released on the new demo. You can actually have a crack at the uh, VR version. Oh really? Yeah. Right. 
I'll so get him to do that then. Yeah, give us a little review. Um, yeah. I did download the new demo. Uh, I tried it last night. I put it on for about a minute and shit me pants and then turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I ain't having that. It was about one in the morning. Everything was dark. Yeah. I was like, ah, I can't be doing this. I, I need these underpants. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll try again today in the daylight. Yeah. <laughs> Some loud music on or something. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Um, Ace Combat 7 that looks like it's going to get another VR VR one I, I can't see that won't make you feel sick yeah if I'm honest, if I'm honest but... 2.0 yeah <laughs> but people have been asking for that for a while so that's another one they've revealed the one thing that nobody asked for <laughs> can you guess what it is God, Mr. Cerny's masterpiece. <laughs> Knack 2. How's that got a sequel? I've got no idea. I'll tell you what, I won't, I'll won't. I'll give Knack a go yeah, when, it, when it goes to PlayStation freebie for a month. Yeah, that's true. Um, but... <sighs> I don't know. It's got co-op, I guess, this Knack 2. So there's some saving oh, grace to it. Yeah, in the reveal, it's showing two players playing. So my assumption is you can play through it online with someone. So that might make it bearable. But... 95 on Amazon currently. Really? But, do you know Knack? Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, um, I see someone arguing saying, oh, well, Knack was sort of, you know, it was his tech demo of how the PlayStation 4 works. So this is going to be his real, you know, a real proper game. Oh. Come on. Cerny's putting your pants down. <laughs> we'll see about that one. Gravity Rush 2 DLC. That was revealed. Uh, Ni no Kuni 2. Ooh. Looks like an epic game, but yeah. having not played the first one, and oh, knowing, knowing it's 70 hours, it's Yeah, not that's get... the killer, isn't it? I've got that sitting here with me. I'll trusty ps3 one day i will fire that up but how oh, did you buy it then did you yeah i bought it i've had it for i've had it for about two years now but it's just sat here just going mm. come on hurry up mate play me but it's one of those games i've already looked at how long it takes to complete and gone well is it like 70 hours or i just pluck it, it is let me oh, have all right <laughs> i thought i'd just pluck that out of my ass but i know that they're typically uh very very long uh, games and yeah main in that as well 50 no, completion, if you want to get everything done, it's 93. Jesus Christ. Like, just the main story is about 46, they're claiming. Yeah, that's, but, yeah, that's not going to get done, is it? Nah, that's it. So it's on the burner. One day, when I'm when I'm jobless, and I just think, right, I'll just get through all of these. I've got yeah. nothing. I just think that one day, I'll just, I'll just have, that's it, I'll, I'll be rich enough to take off the rest of my life, and I'll get through everything. Get through that's the big my, backlog. <laughs> my ultimate goal. Yeah. <laughs> one of my one of my mates who I used to work with, he um when he when he stopped working there, he was like, All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a month off life, he said. He went, I've earned it. So he he didn't bother finding another job for like six weeks. Oh, really? He just sat there and just rinsed through like his backlog. Fucking brilliant. Took a full month off life. Cool. And uh, they went back to work. But <laughs> nice. it's, it's a fucking incredible thing to do. That always made me laugh. Yeah, to do that. Yeah. Uh, Yakuza Kiwami, which is actually a remake, it looks like, of the original Yakuza and Yakuza 6, is, are both coming to the West. Never played a Yakuza game. They've had real difficulties mm. getting them over here or yeah. translated. But they always, if you, you speak to people that have played them or you read read up on it, they're positive. Always yeah. positive games. So well, it's, for me, Kiwami seems like the, the perfect... Jumping on, yeah. yeah. Well, I was playing... Well, I haven't actually physically played it, but... Um... My pal Matthew, he's he's really into his uh, Japanese market. Hi, Matthew. Matthew, uh, Mr. Pasola, who's his birthday today. So if he's listening, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, he's he's big into the Yakuza business. He's yeah. he's got quite a few of the games on PS uh, PS3 that he plays. Yeah. Um, but there, I don't think they have uh, a UK dub over him. They're all done in ah. Japanese and so he just has the subtitles but yeah he's played through quite a lot of them and one night when we was around the powers he was he was playing one and I was watching it, it that, they do look pretty good they're like sort of linear open world games um, yeah. they just have all these crazy sort of mini games it just, it just looks so Japanese you know how sort of over yeah. the top and wacky it is but they do look quite interesting the stories one thing I did notice, it was just it's like more cutscenes than a Metal Gear Solid game. Right. <laughs> Actually, well, I like it then. he started it from the beginning, and honestly, was, I think we must have been sat there for about an hour and a half just watching the intro at the beginning. I was like, Fuck <laughs> it, hell. So, yeah, but Dream is that ended. I see, yeah, yeah, they do look pretty good, but yeah, like I so said, that's quite a cool, a good jumping on point if that's coming to PS4. Yeah, 
Yeah, absolutely. I'm down for that to give them a go. That and Persona are the two things that I wanted to have a go at. And Persona really? 5 releases next year, as we know. So be looking forward to those. Let It Die is one thing they also revealed on the PlayStation experience. Uh, it's a free-to-play game. It's available now. You can go and get it on the store. Don't really know what it is, but no. it's, it's on the list it's on, anyway. Looks like a whack. It's like some sort of like Reaper thing. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll give it yeah. a go. See what Free, happens. Um, Horizon <laughs> and Neo both got you know more trailers. No real details revealed. Uh, both looking good games. Neo. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm sitting there thinking. Ninja I thought you was referring to the old Project Neo. I was like, what? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Neo. Cool. Oh, yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, yeah. That, that does look good. But after playing that fucking demo, I'm like, so oh, hard. I've got no chance of that game anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's Team Ninja though. Your yeah, boys. yeah, the boys, the old ninjas, the old Tenchu right. boys, and they yeah. the Raya. What's his name? Ninja Garden Man. Yeah. Hey, Hayabusa. Yeah. Hayabusa. I'd like to give that a go, but it's just oh, it's just too daunting now. I'm like, fucking hell. Yeah. Anyone who likes the Soul series or likes mm. or Bloodborne, I think we we'll, can get into Neo. It's one of those type of games. It's very difficult. It, it pulls a lot of influences from um, from software's games and mm. whatnot. I'm surprised but... you've never delved into the old uh, Dark Souls games. Well, I played Bloodborne last yeah. year and... Um, Dark Souls, I played it towards the back end. So it was about October time when I played it. Right. And then when uh, March come around, I think, and that's when Dark Souls 3 dropped. Of course. And I just thought, Phew. as good as they are, they are good and they're really good games. Yeah. It's, it's, like it's a that. struggle. It is a struggle. <laughs> like, it is difficult at times. And you, you have to have a lot of resolve. And I was like, I just need to, I, mean, I was like my mate from work, I had to take a week off life. To, <laughs> Get it to, done. Yeah, to, to try that's and do That's what it, it when anything else going on in your life just becomes redundant. Just like, yeah. No, I can't um, move on with my life until this game's done. Yeah, it's a <laughs> horrible situation to be, but I find myself in this far too often. But yeah, it was just, um, and uh, I just thought, well, I'll maybe I'll get it later on. I, originally, I was like, well, I'll get it for PC because it's meant to oh, yeah. run like a bit of a pig on the consoles. And really? speaking to Mr. Sam, and he said it runs okay on PC, but it's still not, you know, it's not they don't run the best. And yeah. I know they're planning future projects, and I thought I could probably sit this one out. The Dark right. Souls free. Um, Some weird glitch. I think it was in number two. My mate was telling me about. Apparently, um, like the frame rate used right. to link to your weapon. So like your what? your weapon would deteriorate based on your frame rate or something. It was something fucking <laughs> mental. It wouldn't surprise me if that was nah. intentional for them guys. They put lots of there's lots of things like that in it. And yeah, I mean Neo's a, a blatant kind of you know not rip off as such, but they use yeah. a lot of lot of some of the same ideas there. And just, they just put Geralt for Riviere. He's the main <laughs> yeah. character. Every time I see him, I think that. <laughs> they could have changed that. It's like, it's mad, isn't it? Um, the, the, the remaster or the re-release we've all been waiting for, Windjammers. <laughs> yeah. Never How? heard of it. Never oh, I'm a big fan of this game as of today. Yeah, I don't know. what I've never seen <laughs> nah, it. I just wikied it. But apparently it was... Um... What, like an arcade game, you know, mm. on the old, and they, I think they're called like Meme or me, right. uh, whatever, them old system. But yeah, I, I, yeah, I've got to say, I thought it was that fucking California Games, which I'd have been. Yeah, I'd have been up for that. <laughs> but this one, no, I've never bloody heard of it, but looking on Twitter and stuff, it sounds like it's a bit of a cult classic. Yeah. It's slipped we'll under the radar. We'll see about that. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, they call Boom. it. What an awful name, Insane. <laughs> what are they doing? I see Birdie Cough again, they mix. And is it something like the I can't. Oh, yeah. I still stand by my initial impression of them. Right. When people play us again, they'll be shocked. Yeah. And they'll struggle. Yeah, it's one of those games that will be dated. Because oh, well, we played it in the we played one level. I know oh, it was in in, the, in Uncharted Four. Mm. Is obviously there's that mini game where you can go in and play a level from it. It just felt awful. <laughs> I, was yeah. like, what? I, was, I was like, fucking hell. Yeah, that is I don't shit. remember it being like this when I was younger. <laughs> um, I remember going around the friends' house on Christmas Day. I, I, I think I've worked Christmas it out. Christmas Day? Yeah, Christmas Day I went around there. Mental, he only lived up the road. Um, <laughs> was it uh, Kirk Clark? Do you remember him? Yeah. <laughs> went around his house on Christmas Day, 1996. I was nine years old. <laughs> and he's, I remember he'd, he'd bought... Oh, I can't remember if I bought if I got it for Christmas or he got it, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. I remember going around his house and playing it. Going, what is this shit? Give me Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, that's coming out. I know Mr. Salmon's a big fan of him. And he's 
He says he's going to get it, but he, he says a lot of things about getting <laughs> PlayStation stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, I've still been trying to get him to get bloody Bloodborne since he enjoyed Dark Souls 3 so much. Um, we'll see about that. And oh, I don't know. It's, I don't, I've got nothing against Crash. I loved him when I was younger and I loved the, the games. I never really owned a full one and completed them. Nah, because uh, I was just so bad at games <laughs> at, at that age. Yeah. But, um... I didn't. I don't, when I was a kid, I don't remember thinking, "Right, I've got it. the only game I remember completing is Metal Gear Solid." I don't, yeah, I don't think <laughs> I ever completed a single Sonic or. No, didn't bother back then. Well, didn't have a backlog. No, <laughs> no, didn't have a backlog. No, it's take about a year to get a new game. I know. I know. It's wait a long time, but um, it's coming out, and hopefully, they do a really good job of it. And I hope that I'm wrong. In my assumption that when you sit down and play it, you'll go cool. Yeah. Um, I hope it's really good and you know it's it's it does crash proud because he is one of the few kind of mascots that are knocking around gaming along with Sonic and Mario and you know a few others like it just it just resonates with people. Yeah. Um, Destiny: The Dawning, which looks like it's going to introduce Sparrow Racing into Destiny. I'll leave any description of that too if, right. if destiny like dave's that. around and he wants to do a write-up it'll probably go on the website so there was a yeah. racing thing before wasn't there was it like yeah a, it's like a temporary oh it's only temporary thing, was it right yeah it seems like i don't know what this, this will be permanent but i think again it'll be for like a month and then right. stop again have you done it why. yourself have you or nah i missed all that when it was going yeah. on so i'll probably I'll put, I'll give this a go when it when it releases and have a little race around my my sparrow is poor. Yeah, how is it? So I ain't gonna offer much. There's some new quests dropping as well, so maybe I'll jump on those. But really, mm. Destiny is pretty much done. Me and Paper have worked through the. You've done all the, the DLC uh, as well. Done all the DLC, yeah. We're just yeah. waiting for to try and sort out our time through the raid because need six of you. It's tricky oh, to get oh, yeah, a yeah. date, and they're at least a couple of hours long. But they're good fun. The raids. We've done two of them, oh. and um, there's two more for us to do. And then after that. It would have had its time, and I feel like I can move on knowing that Destiny was, I gave Destiny a shot, and it actually wasn't. It got significantly better as right. they released the DLC and the and the story packs, especially okay. the Taken King and Rise of Iron. They just they, it, was, it was clear they knew there was a they someone had fucked up with the base game because they made a active dis, active kind of effort to make it more story based, have cut uh-huh. scenes and characters and whatnot. So yeah. this is um, the would dawning you- will be arriving. Would you advise if I was I see it the other day for twenty quid that complete condition, on going for it on my own? Would you mm. Would you say no? Nah, I've been there. Uh, I did the main game and that was a bit of a grind. Mm. Well. I would but, say uh, you'd want someone get get Chris Kelly in, get him in, and go, get him in and, and play with him. He's he's <laughs> he's, he's left the Destiny group in. In shame. Cause oh, did he? Yeah, he walked out on it. So I don't know if he's going to be annoyed of us. I'll ask him. But it, I think it's a. It's to me, especially. I mean, the the this more, the Taken King is better, and Rise of Iron is better. You could probably play through that on your own, but they're not right. overly long. But still, the game is best served with someone else. And unless you're really into upgrading your character, upgrading your guardian, as they call it, and you know, you're into that kind of obsession. But yeah. outside of someone else playing it i will not pick it up and go on on my own it, right. at the moment um i've kind of I, and to be honest for a month or so I, I was doing that but after that wears off you know it, it was kind of like a co-op only game for me right. um it good it can be good fun though like the yeah. strikes that are on there they're about 40 minutes they're good like longer missions of a big boss at the end but it comes down to the same thing as what we we've seen time and time again in the last few years uh it's it's a loot you know, loot chasing right. simulator, 2017 yeah. edition. It's um, if you if you're not obsessed with leveling up and getting good loot, then it, you lose a lot of the game. The game plays really well. Mm. Like you see, the guys at Bungie developed it, so the game plays really good. But right. it kind of hinges a lot on loot collecting. So cool. tough one, people. I'm glad I played through the collection yeah. of all the all the stuff, and I think it's now and it's, it's a much better experience than when it was at launch. Yeah. for sure and uh, and people were enjoying it even back then so they must be loving it now yeah. um, Wipeout Omega Collection mm. brought back from the dead people have been squabbling over Wipeout mm. chasing Sean Layden <laughs> with sticks on fire mm. to get Wipeout back and it looks like there's going to be a collection arriving Boom. Um they're doing a lot of remastering, so <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on this year, isn't it? I remember. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so bothered by old things like this because you'd never be able to play it again. No, that's right. Yeah, like anything that's like from PS2 backwards, I get. But it's, yeah, you know, see, it's the one that were like released on the 360. Yeah, like the Arkham games, I think. Right, 
that was yeah. like, like three years ago. Why are you doing it again? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah stuff like that. And like Assassin's Creed, I was like, well, mm. come on, don't need Ezio's collection being brought to this. But stuff like Wipeout, stuff like Crash Bandicoot, I'm all down for because and Parappa the Rapper, I'm all down yep. for that. Sure. There's a few others, weren't there, that were released? Um, Loco or something. There's another. Yeah. People were quite big about, big, uh, hyped about, but ones that have slipped under my radar. Yeah. You heard of them? Nah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be in there. <laughs> they'll be in there somewhere. Um, announcement-wise, I mean, there's a few other little ones that were there, but I think we can draw PSX to a close. Yeah. Uh, it's covered basically all the big hitters. Uh, what was your overall thoughts? Because Notable absenteeism, God of War. Mm, yeah. Did that wound yeah, that, you a little bit? I think you. I think they. We knew that weren't going to be. Yeah. There. I f- I still, I was that. like, oh. Yeah. It, I really liked this year's PSX. I, I think I prefer it to their PS4, uh, play, PS4, the PlayStation E3 conference. All right. I think yeah. they're sort of um, like there's no sort of bullshit behind the, the the conference. They don't know who they're doing it to, don't they? Going right. We're yeah. promoting this to the people that have already bought a PlayStation. We aren't yeah. going to give you all the bollocks about how much, how many units we've sold, and mm-hmm. all the technical bollocks. Yeah. Right, the, you have people. You obviously have a PlayStation Four, so you want to. Here's the games. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So I was like that. I thought in that sense, I thought oh, they've done that really well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a few absentees that people were saying about. They haven't heard nothing about um, Final Fantasy Seven. No, remake. shit, yeah, the uh, remake. Uh, what was that other game, Detroit, was it? That was yeah. A, no one's heard anything about. Yeah. So, yeah, but then I suppose they have got to save some of the big hitters for E3. We're only what, six, seven months away from the next E3 thing, so. Yeah, <laughs> some, uh, something cooking, won't they? Yeah, that's it. But, yeah, that's what God of War did. Uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm surprised that, I mean, oh, you're right to bring up the point they, they kind of don't didn't bullshit you on, because they didn't mm. even hardly mentioned the ps4 pro they ah. didn't like come in and go by the way dynamic 4k console that's the best yeah. in the market they didn't give any of that shit ah, that's like, right. I think they knew people weren't interested that's so it yeah they kept it very focused and i think if you look at i mean just going off subjects like if you look at the marketing for the playstation 4 pro yeah they are um as I said, the only reason I got it is because it was it was cheap. Yeah. Uh, or cheaper than, cheaper, at least not, yeah. it's not cheap, is it? Chuck away me 300 quid. But <laughs> um, it was cheaper than I was expecting. And I was, and I was like, well, okay, I'll get it. Yeah. But I never felt, I've never, it, since it's been released, it's been out, what, just over a month now, maybe a month coming up to a month. Um, I never felt like I had to upgrade. No, Do no, you know I mean? that's they, right. They've not yeah, pushed yeah. it in your face, have they? Not like, no. as, a, as a current, anyone that's got a PlayStation 4 and doesn't want to upgrade or can't afford to upgrade, I don't feel like they've made you feel like it's insignificant. It's still very much, yeah. you know, a worthy thing to have there, which I think is good because um, that was a lot of people's worry. I think that it would come irrelevant, but they're doing yeah. a good job of making sure that even if one day the games start taking advantage of it, you know, in, in a better sense, that still... They're not chucking it down your throat saying, well, you need to be getting this pro now. No, that's um, very true. Which is a good thing. Now, um, one comment I did hear, which, again, I'm not really the best person to speak about it, more we need Biff on here, is yeah. that um, they thought it was quite VR light. Yeah, it wasn't a lot there, was it? I no. Biff sits through that and, and there's <laughs> maybe, what, one game that's popped up? I was going to say, up, popped yeah, up and thought, oh. And that looked like it would make you feel sick. Yeah. Um, that, I can't remember what it was called for now for the life of me, but... It made that look like it would make you chuck up, and it looked like rigs, but in air. Yeah, that's I was like, true. we've seen this a million times already. <laughs> this formula. So I wonder if him having made that big commitment, whether he's thinking, "Fucking hell, they're not even committing to this themselves." Yeah. Well, last <laughs> week he was saying that he's, you know, he hadn't had it on for two weeks, mm. and uh, they, it didn't feel like there's enough games for it. So maybe, right. maybe it's a real big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hope, it, I hope it's not. I mean, it'll just take a little while. Yeah, that's um, it, yeah. Because it is a brand new way of playing, so he's, he's, you know, something will happen. There will be yeah. a light bulb moment and there'll be a killer app for something on VR. I mean, perhaps it'll be Resi 7. But yeah, that's it, the big one, isn't it, really? And yeah, we'll just... see how that... I reckon that'll... People say Resident Evil 7, good game, but playing it in VR, it's actually poor. I think it'll be yeah because it's not built from the ground up for VR, is it? I don't think. No. I think they've kind of bolted it on. And I feel like it'll be it won't be it won't be the best experience to do that, and it'll be shit scary as well. So yeah. many people won't do it. Um, but yeah, overall, I like PlayStation Experience. The third time they've done it, I think. Um, 
and it's always good to have something in December to yeah. reveal and, and, and talk about. So keep that up for yeah. sure, Sony. And hopefully, yeah. I'm surprised Xbox don't do no their own similar one. type of thing. Yeah, you'd think uh, they'd battle it, but I suppose uh, with their, I suppose they're trying to integrate their PC thing as well. It would be one motherfucking big conference, wouldn't it? That's true. That's um, true. But yeah, no, it's, it is weird, especially we got the Nintendo do that direct thing, didn't they? Now as well. Yeah, yeah. Doing yeah. their own thing. Maybe they'll get ideas from it. We'll see. Um, the Game Awards 2016 also yep. took place this past week. Jeff Keighley's uh, annual game ceremony kind of broke away to do his own thing. Um, I am. This is voted for by the media. So they select a panel of media. Well, it said, this is what these words were. It says, voted on by media outlets and influencers, <laughs> which, which I assume means YouTubers yeah. when they say that. Um, so always take any of the awards I do now with a pinch of salt because as soon as there's, there's no objectivity there. No. <laughs> when it, I, I, don't, I don't take much, you know, salt in that and say, yep, that is... That's, that's a fact, whatever they, award they hand out. I look more towards the DICE Awards, which are voted on by um, like the industry, like the actual developers and, and the publishers vote on that. Oh, right. Or, like, like the Oscars are. They're voted yeah. from within, within the circle. Oh, okay. So as I've been looking into the Game Awards and who's voting and how the other awards are stacking up, I kind of think, well, the DICE one for me holds more weight in it yeah. because of who's actually voting on it. But... This is more to me now. This is like a glorified mini E three now because all it is is reveals. Yeah. They're just churning out new new bits and bobs, which I'm happy to have, is that the Game Awards is a vehicle for, you know, people to get their stuff out there. Yeah. Um one thing I do have to say off the top of the before we go into it is a something that's a little bit dodge. Um there was gonna have a category for best fan made game. Oh right. So, okay. you know, people that had or fan creation, they called it in the end. Yeah. And there were two, initially, the two nominees, there was two nominations for uh, the Metroid uh, oh. 2 remake someone had done, and also a Pokemon um, new version that there's some, another fan had made. And uh, Nintendo made them remove it from the nomination yeah. list. And as soon as that happens, in an award <laughs> kind of space, you kind of think, right, so they're only really doing this to grease the palms of whoever like you can't have that sort of influence there the awards should be you know impartial or it should be open if you're going to put a category in that should include everything not just say nintendo go well pull that down i always want to show you zelda that's what it come down to yeah that's true so the integrity of the show i think is taking a bit of a nosedive especially the like especially with that happening this year yeah um, that's true so the actual, the actual award i don't think we'll spend too much time on at all yeah. um you taking but, the main one <laughs> Yeah, exactly. How we oh, yeah, Boogie, Boogie got trending gamer, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, to be fair, I've only just started watching this stuff probably in the last six months. Yeah, I oh, really? um, I never really paid much attention to him before. No, but, I um, first came across him, he does that character, he goes up mental, didn't he, angry, he calls himself yeah. Francis. Oh, that does my skull, actually. <laughs> I want to just drive around there and put a brick in his head every time he does that Francis. I think, why people... I don't get that, yeah. but each each their own, Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. He's only just ahead of us in subscribers. That's so it, yeah. He must be doing something right. <laughs> but um, I thought, for some reason, I thought he was really popular to start with, and then the popularity had waned off a little yeah. bit. But I didn't know he would be not. this year's. I he, thought he, he got it last year. Um, Greggy. Greg Miller, Greg yeah, Miller. which I can yeah. see that. Yeah, Danny O'Dwyer, livid. Yeah. It. Carved his own pass, and then Jeff Keighley goes, nope. <laughs> not having that, you fucker. How did Angry Joe get in the running as well? I thought them two hated each other. Yeah, they, I showed you that interview of those two. Didn't yeah. And Keely mugs him off really, That's really heavily. Close it. I didn't think he'd get in the books. Yeah, well, funny enough, he's been doing, Jeff Key's been doing a live YouTube show most Fridays for a couple oh. of, I think for about four or five weeks now. And they've been, they've had Angry Joe on as like a, putting like a segment together and put it on. So they must have, you know, built bridges. Yeah, and, yeah. I think nowadays you have to, well, you don't have to, but it makes sense to. You know, for for Keely, who's that on, on his own to be in bed with these people, they get a lot of coverage from them, and they they're popular. Yeah. So you want you want those you want to have eyes on your product. You've got to unfortunately have the uh, take some concessions and build some bridges with people, which looks like it's happened. Um, but yeah, that again, that comes into it. Like the, the, the awards show is a little bit of a it is just a vehicle for showing off and adverts. Now it's nothing else for me. It's not, 
the, the wards themselves, I just think, wow. Yeah. They, they're all right to watch. The actual ceremony itself, fuck it, two hours long, they had three music sets in it. I was like, what are oh, you doing? That was insane. It was painful <laughs> sitting through all that. I was like, well, I'll do it. But I was like, Jesus, it's painful. <laughs> Stop again! That, why is that there? Yeah, yeah, that's money stupid, again. Isn't it? It's what it, yeah, but I'm I'm grateful for it because we get to talk about things like Mass Effect Andromeda, five minutes of gameplay footage, <laughs> Grease Dem Palms, Grease Fireware <laughs> to get that reveal. Um, five minutes, a good solid look at it. Yeah, it was. Uh, looks beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, very. The only thing, the only slight concern I had off the top was uh, looked. Very combat heavy. Yeah, yeah. And I hope it doesn't just become that. No. I know. It's, I know it features quite heavily in the games, but I don't want it to be like no. only that. I want them to make sure they pay attention to exploring and yeah. meeting people. And whatnot, yeah, it looks but... like you can do a lot of. Uh, they've got that sort of like No Man's Sky uh, scanning system. Yeah. And they so that yeah. looks quite fun. So yeah, yeah. hopefully they implement that, and you'll get the big long ass winded conversations with random people. Yeah, that's what I'm after. Really. <laughs> yeah. What, what, did you, what, what did you make of what you actually saw then on there? Yeah, I thought it looked really good. Yeah, the um, I like that the old Mako is back. Yeah, um, you can have a go in that. Yeah, it does look really cool. It just looks like I've got. I keep uh, what I do now is I look on my computer and I save all me um trailers on YouTube into a little 4K playlist and I go downstairs and watch them on my TV in 4K oh, to <laughs> get a big boner and go, oh look at that, <laughs> oh 4K. <laughs> okay, beauty. <laughs> but yeah, no, I was impressed by that. Getting to that state, like I've, I think I've seen enough now. I'm like, right, right. I've seen, I've seen what it's looking like. Yeah. We know that we're this new Pathfinder, but yeah. I don't, I don't want to see much more now. I just want it. I want it. it. Out. <laughs> yeah. Have you played all the trilogy before? Yeah. You completed them. Yeah. So you yeah. finished those. So that's not nothing on your backlist. You've got to no. Go through no. And that's yeah. That's through. what normally happens. I'm going fucking now. Right. I've got to get that done by three now. Yeah. Play. Well, you've been forcing yourself to go through Watch Dogs these true, last yeah. few weeks. Did smash through that. Yeah. That's quite long actually, wasn't it? For a... Yeah. It doesn't help that boring bastards. <laughs> yeah. Sitting there waiting. Running right. That is fucking dead news. <laughs> 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 Poor bastards. Yeah, yeah, Mass Effect Andromeda, a good little reveal, some gameplay. They do, we'd already seen gameplay at the, the, the PlayStation meeting. Yeah. It annoyed me. It was like, this is the premiere of the gameplay. I was like, you've shown it. Yeah, that's true. You showed us 30, 40 seconds of him walking around and popping from one to the other. Stop lying to us. But <laughs> they had to sell it in some way. Yeah. Uh, still said 2017. Yeah. So we're on track for that. It's it March. It? Oh, is it? Spring, so yeah, whenever that. Well, what's the latest they can put Gonna spring? Die, on? Yeah, fucking fuck end of May, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely getting delayed one million percent. <laughs> I, I would agree with that as well. Uh, Kojima was back in town, got his icon award because yeah, yeah, Jeff loves him. God, thought he was deserve. gonna start bawling his eyes out. <laughs> Yeah. Salute dry yeah. cock up his ass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah he didn't. He, he was struggling, wasn't he? Yeah. That? But he also showed off another CG trailer. Wow. Well, Made he a hash of it, said, didn't he? Bless him. Did you see that? Yeah, he's struggling. <laughs> he makes a hash of every, every time he hits the stage, he make, at, at E3, he walked down those steps. Oh, quick, yeah. Were like him. <laughs> and this time he was stumbling with his voice. It must be. It must be difficult to do when yeah, it's not your yeah, first language. Yeah. And considering how different Japanese is to English, it's no, there's nothing you can even relate it to. But Yeah, he finished um, what he was saying. They looked up at the screen and there was nothing yeah. on there. And went, oh, um, okay, one more thing. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking blower. So yeah, we had the Death Stranding trailer. Oh, instant boner again. Well, what's going on with this game? What is oh, that's it? the thing. I love it. You watch this train, you think, right, I'm going to get to see more. And the more you watch, the more you're like, right, that's another fucking 50 questions now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks it's fucking it's, awesome, it, doesn't it? But, yeah, it does look good, yeah. It looks very weird. Yeah, um, yeah, fucking weird. Like, I thought G, um, Metal Gear 5 was probably one of the weirdest Metal Gear games. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is just over the like, t- top that completely yeah. uh, but there's loads of people sort of uh, speculating on it have you heard about like people are playing the two traders you know the one with norman reedus yeah they've like playing it to like uh, side by side right and like when uh, del toro like cuddles the baby and yeah. starts like almost seems to, like connect with it that mm. at the same point in the other trailers when it disappears from um norman reedus oh really but they're like oh my god yeah, everyone's just trying to work what the fuck is going on, but I have no clue. 
to no. <laughs> just gonna have to see because like, there's no not been any gameplay or anything, has it? No, he's been he's I don't know why they're spending time on that. I wanted to reveal something, but yeah, one of the I think that it was rumored that Mads Mikkelsen was going to be in it. Yeah, you know, who's who does Hannibal? That's it. Yeah, I didn't, that, I didn't know about that, but until yeah, seen the trailer. Yeah, like, so he's popped up. <laughs> it's it's so another, good, isn't it? Him and Norman look like going to be the leads on it. But yeah. Um, did you I'm pleased with that. Hear about they've announced the um, engine they're using. Isn't it Horizon Zero Dawn? That's the one, yeah. Engine, yeah. Gorilla Games. I don't trust Gorilla. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Died they, like they... Kill's Own Shadowfall, non part oh. two. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be trusting them after Kill Zone and then they go and do Horizon. I think, well, <laughs> that, how's that going to be any good? But yeah. hopefully it is. But yeah, Death Stranding, more weirdness, mm-hmm. all sorts of black shit. Yeah, going through the water and babies being cuddled and in chest tubes, That's and then good fuck, Mads looking like a badass yeah. as he is. Um, man. Yeah, exactly. I watched it. Uh, hey, Hannibal, you've seen it, yeah? Oh yeah, really good. Yeah, tip for the well-rounded gamer. Go and watch that. It's a really good um, TV show. Yeah, I loved it. I think it's on Netflix now in the UK. Oh, is it? So you can get it on there. Very good though. Shame they cancelled it. The pricks. Mm. Absolute bell ends, but that's what happens. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> Zelda: The Breath of the Wild got some more gameplay. I've seen enough of this now. Yeah, yeah, I'll do. yeah. it's getting bought. Um, yeah, didn't I said I'm going to show you something you've never seen before, and I was like, well, they showed us like a little cave, basically, or whatever it is, like a little mini boss area, and I was like, well, mm. that didn't, it didn't really interest me. I don't know why. Because I've seen so much of it from E3, yeah, like it was, it was an open house basically, wasn't it? There was so much footage, yeah. I don't, it's like I don't need to see anymore. No, nah. um, no, nah, that's right. You know what it's going to be? It's coming out for Switch and Wii U. Which one are you going to get it on? <laughs> oh, not the Wii U. <laughs> one million percent the Wii U. Yeah, that is the yeah. console to buy over the Switch. <laughs> it might be. I never know. Switch yeah, might yeah. be a disaster. I hope not. Yeah, they, they, they obviously didn't put a release date on it. Rumours are that it's going to get delayed anyway, but oh. um, they obviously can't. If they put the release date out, then people go, oh, that's when the Switch comes out. So they'll yeah. give away. Because in January is when Nintendo are doing that bit. Oh, okay. So um, didn't expect to see a release date on it. Uh, yeah. But hopefully it's not pushed back, but we'll see. Because um, that'll be a good killer app to have day one with the Switch. That'll shift some units for sure. If they can get Mario as well. Then they're laughing yeah. for a little while at least. Prey. Prey. Ooh. Gave me, so we saw about a few seconds of gameplay, and there's actually been five minutes or so released afterwards. Um, for some reason, during the trade that they showed, or the gameplay part of it, it gave me some vibes of Bioshock. Yeah, yeah, I got but that. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, have you ever played that System Shock? No, but that's yeah, like another, the spiritual, yeah, spiritual predecessor, isn't that's it? That's it, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it did feel a lot like that, but yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. It was a very uh, Bioshocky feel. Yeah. Uh, I was like the fact that you can just get in a cup. Yeah, that's, that, it's like it's a lot more sort of physics based, like a sort of Half Life y. Yeah, like, cool, that, like puzzle it. solving. Yeah, we had that gun where you can glue shit and yeah. make yourself a walkway to get up the top of that. Yeah, but yeah, just um, being able to uh, transform into a, any anim- inanimate object looks fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm really excited about this for some reason. Yeah, yeah I think it looks looks interesting, looks good, and uh, it looks like a complete. It looks like I've got fuck all to do in the old game. <laughs> oh yeah, I think it's just just been in that off and going right. Oh, the, yeah, again. <laughs> yeah, basically, which I'm not against, but no, nah. because um, it feels like I haven't missed anything if they do. <laughs> if, yeah, that's true. If they do that. But yeah, I mean, I think that's going to, you know, they've done Dishonored Arcane, who developed those ones, and they'll be developing this, so they've got some good pedigree. Um, excited for Prey, looks like they're doing some interesting things, and there's some new ideas they're sort of bringing in there, we've been able to transform or go into objects, and then with that gun to build walkways, you can see that being used in combat and for puzzle solving, so yeah. happy to see more of that when it comes out. And that's again. That's a 2017 release date stamped on it, so cool. it's, it's building up nicely. Yeah. The Walking Dead: A New Frontier. Yeah, Spanish version. It looks like to me. <laughs> yeah, it was. Isn't it? It's old heavier. Um, seems like they've changed how they present the games. Like the camera angles and the way the camera's moving seemed a lot more upgraded because typically it's yeah. just been very still and 
but they were kind of like doing zooms and it, I think they've yeah. changed the presentation for this and I believe they were waffling about a new engine being used for this oh, but right okay That'd be um, see. I still haven't played through season two yet without the plants and burner I really well, this look go on well, I was just saying I bought that on PlayStation 4 right uh, um because I thought it had a platinum trophy. Turns out I ain't got one. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got just the, just the season two, just sitting in there. Oh it's god! Game, not even the first one, but no platinum trophy. Absolute Love disaster. <laughs> yeah, that is. That's not what you want. Ah. This this looks like a soft reboot, but they are. They have, I've been reading that they can upload your old save. All oh, right, okay. Um, trouble for me is old save. Mm. Three sixty, in it. Oh. That's how old it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I've got it on that, and I don't think I can get my save up Off. onto if I I've, maybe to get it to Xbox One. Hopefully, they okay, started doing this Telltale account. Oh, that's and I was hoping, right, yeah. And I was hoping it would be lodged on there, and I could just use it. Like even if I bought it on a different platform, I could just pull it off that cloud or something. Yeah. But, uh, I'm not sure that's going to be an option here, which would be a bit of a pain in my ass to be honest. Yeah. If it's not, because that would bother me. Even though the from what I played of both one and two, I completed them both, not a lot of what you did in one carried over to two. Right. There wasn't a great deal there. It's just more about what people say, like dialogue options. Right, cool. So Clementine would say something to do with what you'd done before. Right. So maybe it'd just be stuff like that in this, but still, I'd like to have an option to somehow get that. I don't, mm. I'm not against plugging in the old 360, getting it online, having to upload it, as long as I know that yeah. it, this can be done. I did that with um, Red Dead Redemption save of mine. All right. So that worked, yeah. I pulled up my save from the 360 version and then played it, the 360 version on the Xbox One through right. uploading my save. So it should work. Yeah. should work. But then it means you're then restricted to buying it on yeah. Xbox One. So, so that's, that's actually like... got a... Um, they've actually got a release date on that. <laughs> oh, really? For the, for the first episode, yeah. So I think it's December the 20th, episode one. Mm-hmm. But they were waffling on about it being so big that it's going to be two episodes. Oh, wow. So I, oh, well, so I, don't, uh, I don't know if... Yeah, so I don't know if episode one is just really long in two parts. Like part one and then part two. Or whether it's episode one and two out of the five. Right, I see. Ooh. Again, no clear, no clear communication. A few bad hombres are at work. <laughs> <laughs> Big Trump. What an actually... <laughs> he makes me laugh, that bloke. Yeah. Uh, he yeah, runs that... the world now. <laughs> yeah. Here's that new character. What was his name? Uh, Spanish. Oh, I think it's Javier. That's Javier. it, yeah. Yeah. So it looks like you're going to be controlling him for most of it. I don't know if Clem will... Clem appears at the end of the trailer, so I don't know if you'll control or if she'll just be a character in it. Right. Um, I would have been happy for him just to leave it, but, you know... Yeah. Like, they, they that one, and they're selling well, these Telltale games. Yeah, more stuff from Telltale, actually. Gardens of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, that was one that was quite good. They said they'd made a uh, Marvel link, hadn't they? They'd yeah. struck a deal. And, yeah, I thought that, that out of most of it would work pretty well. Well, yeah, I was going to ask you, yeah, because I'm not really into Marvel, like people are yeah um, uh, it's a dc as well i'm not really i've never really got into it so do you think that would work well with the four yeah car? why that over something else though um i think the humor would work well they're more of right. like a funnier gang um mm. especially with the film and stuff like compared to like the avengers where mm-hmm. you know they have a little bit of humor and blah 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 yeah sort of, sort of action action but i think yeah the humor will work more in the storytelling side um yeah. and yeah there's, there's probably more that they can work with and it just looked cool being up in space and stuff. Yeah. And we've had yeah. one yet in space, have we? Maybe Borderlands? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Sort of, yeah, a little bit of Borderlands. The thing is, I like about the Telltale when they do a spin on it, is it kind of gets me into other series. So right. like Borderlands, for example. I've not played Borderlands, but I played oh, right. <laughs> Tales from the Borderlands. And, um, and I was like, oh, actually, I quite like this world. I'll jump in and get Borderlands. Mm. And then oh. I started playing through that. So there you go. You're going to become it... a girl into the Galaxy fan. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Well, the trouble thing that annoys me. Well, yeah, I get annoyed with all the putting, <laughs> trying to put them all together. Right. Have you watched the film though? Nah. Right, you should watch that one. It's good. <laughs> well, right. well, if it ain't good, I'm gonna watch it. Then I'll be coming for you. <laughs> time is precious to watch films. <laughs> Just watching Jurassic World this morning, that's so right. that's the sort of time that I've got. Halo, t- Halo Wars Two. We knew that was coming. Yeah. Little little trailer there, and uh, continuing to do that. As well, um, I think they are releasing a Halo Wars One Definitive Edition. Oh yes, they did mention that, didn't they? Would be pre-order, you'll get that. So they look like they'd be better on the PC. These games, which I think they have announced a Windows. Yeah, 
Pass. They always are strategy games. I mean, yeah. the Halo Wars, I played the demo and it, it worked well because usually it's all. I remember playing Command and Conquer on PS1 or PS2 and it was all for the control, but right, cool. they've done a good job of making it translate to a console, but you're right. Yeah. Mouse and keyboard job every time for those for me. Shovel Knight expansion, Spectre of Torment, or Torment, sorry. Um, that'll be coming. I thought there was going to be a sequel to Shovel Knight, that's what I was expecting, yeah. but a bit of a. And ex- yeah. DLC expansion there for people to buy. We saw a little bit of Lawbreakers. Oh, Cliffy's. Cliffy B. Yeah, but that looks like a mess, doesn't it? I don't know how you can keep up with what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking, it's nuts. fucking carnage, doesn't it? It's like uh, Call of Duty amp on on cocaine. Yeah. Ah! Well, that's what Piper described Destiny as, oh, Call really? of Duty on coke. I dread to think what you'll think <laughs> when these yeah. Lawbreakers yeah. kicking off. Yeah. Is it, I feel like I've seen lots of that, but I don't yeah. really know when it's coming out or what's going on with it. All I know is it's a Steam exclusive. It was a free-to-play then, now a Steam exclusive. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what it is now. Um, it's I don't know, but I'm, I've just made this assumption in my head that it's going to be sort of like a hero-y base, you know, like Overwatch where you get the... Hero. Right. Got a feeling it's going to be a bit like that because he was explaining like how some certain characters play differently to others. Sure. So we'll see maybe with that. But yeah, I'm with you. I've not, it, nothing, it's not really interested me that much, to be honest. Uh, Cliff. Old Put his heart and soul into this yeah, yeah, and writing it off. Bend it off. <laughs> Should have fucking stuck with Gears 4, mate, shouldn't you? <laughs> the coalition have done. Um, decent wife, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we we, we, um, we was talking about what Gearbox are going to drop, and we was thinking oh, maybe yeah. it'll be a Borderlands 3 reveal or, or something what? like that. Yeah. No, Bullet Storm, full clip. Yeah. Oh, they fucked that up as well, didn't they? The geezer was trying to say it. <laughs> yeah, <he really laughs> could have fucking had a fucking nightmare with that. Um, I'm quite hyped for this. And on the latest Steam sale we just had, I was yeah. two clicks away from buying Bullet Storm. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, I just thought. Well, actually, I think it was one stupid reason that it didn't have trophies or achievements or something. I was like, oh. <laughs> Steam achievements are the worst. Oh, no, I was going to say, no one looks at them. Oh, God. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that held me off. Uh, yeah. And yeah, and then this comes out, so I think, oh, there's no point now, I might as well wait for the remaster. Going to pre-order to get Duke's DLC? Oh, I did think that would be quite fun. I don't know if it would be a pre-order job, though. Cool. Yeah. Big commitment, isn't it? But yeah, I've heard quite good things of this. It's very Gears of War-y, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a... Again, it's it's an FPS. It looks good, it looks good though. Yeah. Um, I've never I've, I've never really looked at them before. No. And played any from the, from the game, so... You know, I'm always open to trying new things when they do things like this. Where it looks, I'm not sure if this is a remaster or if this is like a um, reboot of it. But you know, I feel, I feel like I could just jump into this one. Yeah. Not have to worry about what's been going on, especially if you can play through his Duke anyway mm. um, and get him sorted. But that's really about yeah. it from the stuff that we saw. We've hit all the big ones there. The main highlights, obviously, were probably Mass Effect gameplay. I like the look of Prey and Kojima producing some bizarre trailers yeah. himself the actual awards themselves um let's just run through them quickly game of the year went to overwatch Boom. What, do you, what do you make of that uh i can see why um blizzard yeah blizzard it, it did do very well it's very popular still yeah. going big um I, i'm i'm Still got it. I was going to jump back on it actually, trying to. Mm. I want to get to what's the level cap? Is it about thirty? Is it or twenty? Uh, I think it's fifty. Fifty is it? I wanted yeah, to get like... to something can make a sort of a completion log in me head. And then, <laughs> I got uh, to level. So what I did is I got to level twenty. Yeah. That unlocks competitive mode, and then also on the Xbox progress tracker, yeah. it puts it at one hundred percent. Brilliant. Yeah, so I'll take that. So I'll get to what, I took that. get that done. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, I haven't really got the community. I think I don't know if Salmon's still playing it now. I don't think he is, but nah. I bought, I've... I've dropped off playing it. I played it for a little while. I played the uh, Halloween weekly brawl they did, which was good as like a co-op like horde mode. Yeah, um, but it was really good, and they took it away. And I'm like, oh, we... uh... should we add into the game? Not yeah. like, <laughs> taking things away. I know they replaced it with something else, but mm. to me, the game that's it's only competitive multiplayer. There's like two different ma- match modes, really. Yeah, you there's you know capture the point yeah and then there's move the or defend you know the the what's it called a bloody bomb or what they call it payload oh payload yeah, uh, yeah. that's it yeah, like, there's yeah, nothing yeah. else really to do yeah. and i'm getting sick of people 
I'm ragging on it, and I don't <laughs> dislike it, but I'm getting Melvin. sick of people going, Melvin, <laughs> I'm really, really sick to death of it. Um, I'm getting annoyed when people go, oh, but it's, you know, look at the, the characters and the stories. Well, hang on, there ain't. <laughs> they are there. They've done a really good job. They've made all these interesting characters, and yet I'm forced to play against the clone of me on another team, yeah. which breaks any sort of context. And, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, I just don't get why there couldn't have been something there like a co-op store or something but like, oh, there's really good characters they're really good yeah, but very good to someone to say to me go oh, the, the the world the context go, there isn't no world it's a map <laughs> yeah. it's a map yeah. that you play through over and over again there's no there's no context there yeah. not having it but yeah. i can I see why it was game of the world uh got the game but wouldn't have been my choice no i mean we will do ours later on <laughs> yeah. this year and that i don't i think and this is a prediction i think maybe They'll, it'll get a couple of votes from people, but we'll see uh, how, how it pans out. Best game direction, I never understood what this is, but it goes to a, a studio, Blizzard got that. Mm. Independent game was Inside, I don't think there's any surprises there. Oh. Mobile handheld game, Pokemon Go. Yeah, given. Uh, VR game, if you're listening, Biff, Res Infinite. Yeah, I've heard about it, yeah, I've never heard of that. Yeah. That was one of the, there was a play, that was one of the like, launch titles, wasn't it, for the PS4? Yeah. It was supposed to be yeah. well received, but... Mm. Good there. Best narrative, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Um, Best art direction, Inside. Best music or sound design, Doom. Yeah, I'm with that. That was awesome. Yeah, that was good. Best performance, Nolan North mm -hmm. as Nathan Drake in Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Yeah. Really, um, you know, they've been doing a strike, haven't they? We never really covered it, but they, they, there's a voice actor strike going on oh, currently. Yeah. Part of the union, yeah. Okay. And, um, what? It felt like in Nolan's speech, he was kind of saying, well, it's important that we're here, but the developers yeah. don't make the games. He was kind of like almost broke away. Yeah, from, he did, like, yeah he's probably thinking of a voice actor. Yeah, the thing is, he's fucking minted compared to most of them. Oh, he's, think, yeah, he's an actual actor as well, isn't he? Like, he yeah, does he's, it. he's getting... Yeah. But yeah, he's based, I think you know, there's a lot of people, whatever side of the fence you fall, and some people are saying, well, the developers deserve to have a union. They haven't got a union. They work all these hours. They make the games... Um, and others are saying, well, we won't, they should union do it, it's up to them. But uh, I think that was just a message out for him to say, get treating them developers better. But mm. I, ain't got, I ain't got time to form an opinion on either, either one of that. No. Games for Impact went to That's Dragon Cancer. Mm -hmm. um, so that was, a, that was a bit of a bleak game about developers. I think his son died of cancer and he made a game about it, essentially. And we actually covered something on podcast a while ago um to do with that and it was around people were streaming the full game oh right um and so it potentially not buying it mm. and we had a bit of a discussion not necessarily just for that game but in general whether it's okay to be doing that right. and whatnot but he's got recognition there and hopefully that will boost some sales i think it's one of the few games that's out that's made with genuine good intentions mm. um he wanted to, it's almost like a healing process for him right. to having to go through all that. Oh, uh, Sobby's out, out, bless him. Yeah, yeah. And then you got Boogie crying. Yeah, Boogie. Like, Hang on, Boogie. Oh, oh wait. Fucking millionaire, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best action game went to Doom. Yeah. Best yeah. action adventure game went to Dishonored 2. Yeah. Best role playing game went to The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Blood and Wine. So that. Got in there. Best fighting game, Street Fighter V. Best strategy game, Civilization VI. Family game, Pokemon Go. Sports slash racing game, uh, Forza Horizon 3. Multiplayer, Overwatch. Most anticipated game, what a load of bullshit. Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. uh, Esports player of the year was Marco. Cold Zero David from SK Gaming. Esports team of the year, Cloud9. Esports game of the year, Overwatch. Trending game, as we said, Boogie2988. Uh, best fan creation, even though they cut half of the nominees. Mm -hmm. And Enderal, The Shards of Order, Industry Icon, Hideo Kojima, Sun. Done. Done. <laughs> so that was that. If you're interested in those, like I said, I don't put too much salt in these, but the, the event itself is worth having just because we get all those those reveals and bits of information. So yep. I'm happy for them to, to be there. Just left for us to go through the game reveals, and then we'll get out of here. Right. Um, next week, Tuesday the 6th of December, Dead Rising 4, Frank is back. Mm -hmm. Getting it? Mm, no. Nah, Xbox One and PC. <clears throat> I'm, again, Mars. my completion is I'm, I'm only... I ain't even, oh, actually, I did one. 
I completed one, and now I've still got yeah. two and three to go. So not yet, but I do I do like them games. But there's just fucking hundreds of them now. Yeah, four of them to deal with. Werewolves Within on PS VR and PC. Mm. Ark Survival Evolved on PS4. Don't expect that to be finished <laughs> because it ain't the PC. It's I don't know how they're getting away it? with that. No. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, although No Man's Sky got away with it, so we'll <laughs> yeah. um, well, they've released that foundation pack, didn't they? Yeah, it's all right. Week. We're back in so the you game. To, so, yeah, I wanted to speak to you about this quickly, because you know they've added quite a lot of stuff there. It yeah. looks like it's almost tempted me to go back, but I need a couple more updates, because yeah. I did still enjoy the, the game. Like, the first 10 hours or so was really good, but... Mm. There was it lacked purpose. Yeah, yeah. Have you been able to get this running? Because I know you had problems after the patch had been <coughs> released. You couldn't bloody play it for a while. It kept booting you out. Yeah, so that's right. Has that been fixed? And and have you spent much time in the world of No Man's Sky? Um, I played it for about an hour with since that update. Just only just trying all the different things. It seems to be running okay. The only one thing is the menus. You know the um, like yeah, the menu screen when you're like floating through all the stars and that. Oh yeah. Loading screen. Sorry, not menu. That fucking runs like an absolute pig, and I thought, oh my god, it's gonna crash in a minute or blow up. Oh, really? But once I got through <laughs> that, it seemed alright, and yeah, it looks like it, you've got a bit more to go back for now because it gives you like the three options of each game mode. So you've got that survival mode, yeah, um, and then the crafting mode, which looks pretty cool. So yeah. it is something that I will get back into eventually. It's just not gone. I've, it's not really got me by the ghoulies to go right. That's gonna be top priority mm. now. Yeah, and I think that's the same. When there's a gap that opens up, and hopefully have a few more updates time, they can make it a bit more substantial. I've got to I'll happily go back because I still think there's a good game in there somewhere. It's just mm. they absolutely botched the release, and then botched the the post release yeah. communication. I.e., said nothing. Said nothing for a couple of months. Uh, blame, yeah, blame no impact. apology, no nothing. I think people would be open or more forgiving if they just come out and said look this is what happened yeah this is why we promised all this stuff this is why it's not here but as soon as you just don't say anything you just sort of go oh <laughs> <laughs> it pisses people oh, off fuck. <laughs> rightly so You're like, oh yeah. shit i'm not liking that no. murray's yeah. obviously struggling with it all but yeah that is now back in the game for people and i was speaking to mr paper last night expecting him to say oh yeah i'll jump back in there and he was like no ship sailed i think and i was like jesus Hype train officially derailed. <laughs> it cost us all 40 quid each, yeah, cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Friday the 9th of December, The Last Guardian. Boom. You've made it. It's going to get bad reviews. Ring. Um, I'll put, oh, yeah. It will, because it won't, it will struggle because it will have some shit wrong with it, like the camera will be crap. Right. The controls will be difficult. It'll be a bit of a relic. Yeah. Is my prediction. And right. some people will be able to look over that, rightly or wrongly if they do, but I don't think it's gonna get it won't get like anything higher than an eight. No. It'll be sixes. Yeah. I reckon, yeah. But I'm still off I'm getting it. It's um I enjoyed Shadow of the Colossus such a that is I wish I'd played What's the that other one? The time. Um Ico. Oh, yeah, that's it, yeah. Are they Not both good, on that good. Uh, PlayStation now? Or just yeah they are yeah both, they're both on there yeah Ooh. but um just make sure you have your wired connection into your playstation oh. when you do that because it's yeah. uh, even with half decent internet it struggles sometimes with the wireless thing as soon as i plugged in the land cable it worked perfectly flawless right, okay um but they are it's hard to go back and play because the controls are a bit bodged and yeah whatnot but i'm excited for last guardian those that haven't played the last two games or you know and, and you know looked at them won't I think it's going to be difficult to sell to those people because um, it doesn't look like anything special. But the I think the narrative is what's going to carry this in the end. I hope it does anyway. But we'll see if it's crap. I'll come back and say it's crap next week or the week after, and then that'll be that'll be the opinion formed. Uh, and also on Friday, Space Hulk Deathwing on PC, mm. Master Race. Master Race. I did see a trailer for that. It looked quite impressive, but supplemented. Cup of tea. Yeah. Right. That is it then. We will call this particular podcast to a close. Thanks for joining me on this one. Um, if you want to find out what we're up to in the uh, week whilst we're not recording this podcast, head over to dimpdigital.com for audio, written, and video content. That's it for now, though. Game over. It's goodbye from Adkins. Shut up. And it's goodbye from me, Apps. Thanks for your time. And ta da.